Welcome to the Luxury Channel. My name is Roger Dove. I work as a perfumer and here you are in my little place in London where I create my scents. What makes perfume luxurious? Various things. I would say the key, without question, however, are the raw materials. The better the quality of the raw materials, the better in the end uh, the scent will be. The other thing that makes perfume really luxurious, however, are the bottles. Uh, most bottles today are made to be disposable because it's a cash and carry world, but there are some houses that put their very precious liquids in the most precious bottles imaginable. Am I right in thinking that there are three styles of scent? There are three main styles of scent in feminine perfumery. We call them florals, Chypre, which is French for the island of Cyprus, and the Oriental family. And I believe that they really, really appeal to very, very different characters. Can you tell me a bit more about those individual characters? <laughs> with pleasure. Um, starting with the Oriental fragrances, Oriental perfumes are based around a blend of vanilla and a raw material we call oris, which is the dried root of the iris plant, which takes six years to produce and costs three and a half times the price of gold. And there you have the Oriental user perfectly. This woman loves luxury. We all like luxury, but this woman is driven by it. It is her life. Everything she does is driven by how luxurious, marvellous, rare, precious it is. Um, this woman is a woman who loves to be the centre of attention. When she walks into a room, she wants everyone to notice her. The Chypre, Chypre style perfume or Cyprus perfumes are the opposite. The woman that wears these, I believe, has a very strong personality. She's comfortable in her own skin. Her approach to life is black and white. She doesn't like or understand grey, wishy-washy. Um, she likes understated elegance. In a way, maybe her taste is the most refined and luxurious of all. If she is angry, you feel it before she said a single word. And then the last of them, the floral, the floral scents. And floral perfumes appeal to a woman whose approach to life is very easygoing. Very happy, sunny disposition. Every day is a happy, sunny day. What is luxury? Um, luxury, as far as fragrance is concerned, by its na nature, has to be something which you can't easily get hold of. I think that so many people say uh, that this is a luxury product and that's a luxury product, and generally I think those products aren't. Uh, you have to go out of your way. If the thing is commonplace and easy to find, by its definition, it can't be a luxury. So for me, uh, going off and discovering a scent like uh, Belinda Brown Blessings, uh, I made that actually for a private individual who decided it was so beautiful and she was so blessed, she wanted 50 bottles made so 50 other women could share in her good fortune. Um, that for me is luxury. I think something like the Grossmith perfumes, uh, Shemel Nesim, Hassel Nahana and Fulnana, which come in these beautiful Baccarat bottles, that for me is a uh, real luxury. It's difficult. If you, I was told once years and years ago by somebody, anything worthwhile has to hurt a little bit when you pay. And I think it was some of the best advice I was given. Anything we just get like that, we lose just as easily. If we've had to hurt a little when we pay, um, then that, that hurt is different for each of us, depending on our background, what we can afford and what we aspire to. But if we hurt a little bit, we'll always remember the hurt, so therefore the thing is precious to us.